All right, so what's up guys? It's Matters, and within this video, we're gonna be looking at never before seen information regarding Infinite Warfare Zombies and the new Spaceland Zombies map. Now, this is actually all from the interview that Infinite Warfare, the developers, and one of like the main characters within the game actually did this morning, and they talked about a lot of information, a lot of gameplay features, a lot of different mechanics in the game that was not talked about yesterday, that we did not see in the trailer, that we sort of maybe saw in the trailer, but it wasn't explained. We didn't really know what it was. A lot of that really cool stuff is within the game so again we're gonna go through all this stuff the link is in the description to an actual list of all of this i was gonna go straight from the interview but this guy on reddit on the cod zombies reddit has a pretty nice list so a link to that will be in the description thank you for that obviously and um yeah we're gonna go through this our like goal for this video will be 200 likes if we can hit that that will be greatly appreciated as always and yeah let's get started so I want to start off here with the Lost and Found. So Lost and Found is basically buying back your guns that you actually lost when you bleed out and die for a fee. So obviously when you die, you lose all of your weapons and perks and all of that insane stuff and you spawn back with absolutely nothing and maybe some points and that's it depending on what round you're on. With the Lost and Found, you can actually go back and buy those guns that you lost. And this is pretty controversial because it's like... Is that really fair? Like, so it means basically you're not really rewarded for staying alive. If you die, you can always get your guns back. Now, I think this depends on the actual fee. If it's like a really, really large fee, then that's fine. But I feel like it loses a bit of the challenge of the game. But at the same rate, it makes it so anyone that dies in the game, it's not like they're completely out of the game and there's no hope, you know? Um, especially if you're playing public match and someone bleeds out, they can always go back and buy their guns and get their crazy pack punch weapons, especially if you have wonder weapons, pack punch weapons, a good setup and you want to get that set up back for a high round attempt on co-op or something, this would be a good thing to do that for. So I think that's pretty cool, but at the same rate, it's something we're not really used to, so we'll see how it works, obviously. Um, now we're going to go through some of the Fate and Fortune cards, and these are the Gobblegum equivalents of this game, and basically the Fate is a classic Gobblegum, and the Fortune is a Mega Gobblegum. Um, Phoenix Up was confirmed to be a Fate and Fortune card, and it's actually literally called Phoenix Up, um, so that's pretty funny there. And there's also a Gobblegum, or a Fate and Fortune card, that we're not so sure what the name is, but it basically makes you stronger um, when there are more players around you so it, I think it spreads to everyone else as well so like let's say you have four players if you guys all huddle up together and you use that fate and fortune card all four of you guys will have increased power damage ability or stamina whatever they want to do with that I think that's actually pretty cool so it makes it so like you have to play as a team or maybe if you're camping and you want to use that and you want to just shred zombies that would work as well so it's probably a pretty interesting and strategical one there to actually have, so it's going to be pretty cool. Another one, just a power-up confirmed. We have Carpenter coming back. I'm guessing we're going to have max ammo, nuke, stuff like that, but apparently Carpenter has been confirmed, so great. We can board up the windows immediately. That's great. Okay, um, this is an interesting one because we saw this back in Black Ops 2. It's the ATM, which is the bank, and the bank is it's not exactly what it was in Black Ops 2. So basically, you put money into the ATM, and it's in a pot for basically everyone to use which is I don't know how that's gonna work because I feel like if I put money in the bank and they are basically saying in the interview that you use it for let's say someone bleeds out and they want to buy their weapons back they can go to that pot and get the money from the sort of group collective collection there that they have the point collection and then you know put it towards their bank money or their their point money for the weapons to come back and you can continue to play as a team or whatever I guess that would make sense but I feel like what if I put po put points in there for a certain cause and then someone just takes points out to like buy a perk or something like I don't want them to take points out to buy a perk like what if they misuse it or abuse the ATM and then no one's ever gonna want to put money in the ATM because someone's just gonna steal that money for a wrong use and not a good thing like buying your weapons back if you die but instead just like pack punching your weapon when you don't really need to and you can use your own money but you're getting money from the bank you know so I don't know how that's gonna work out let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section below it's obviously different from what it was in Black Ops 2 Zombies it's not like you keep the points throughout each game I'm pretty sure it's not like that um so that's gonna be pretty interesting let's just move on here next one here is actually something that i just oh man i wish this was in black ops 3 zombies or Treyarch zombies this is this is honestly something that i feel like i thought of a couple years ago and i, f I think everyone has thought of this before this is such a great idea man door pitching you can pitch in money to buy a door so you can actually have your whole team put forward 
500 points each to buy a 2,000 point door. That is such a great feature, man. It's absolutely insane how they haven't, like, not put that in yet. And if it weren't for zombies, they're finally doing that. That's honestly, like, my favorite feature. It's such a little thing, but just think about how no one wants to open up doors, man. You always have this one guy, like, if you buy a door, it's, like, 1,000 points straight out of your pocket, and then everyone else has points to spare. And again, I guess you can make the case that, oh, they've opened doors, but it's never really fair. But, like, this, you, oh, this is just such a good feature, man, especially a co-op. Oh, it's gonna be so great. Um, and yeah, that's that's really that. So here's another one. If you die, this is very interesting. Now, when you die, you don't actually die. It's it's really weird how it works. When you die, you actually get teleported to an arcade. Now, in the arcade, you get points and you can actually get your life back. And then in that arcade as well, you can get tickets to even buy cool weapons. So when you're dying, not only can you get back to life easily, but you can actually get cool weapons from dying. So it's really not like you're ever bleeding out or dying. You're really just going into a whole nother scenario where you can actually re get rewarded for doing that. And again, they talked about in the interview. They're trying to make it so the people that are like dying or they're not as good, they have a lot of cool stuff to act at their disposal to actually have fun and continue to play the game and continue to have fun. Um, so again, they're sort of not pandering to the people that aren't as good as zombies, but it seems like it's not as much of a challenge. Like when you die, you're not really even dying anymore. So we'll have to see how that works out. That's the only thing I really don't like. I think the feature is really, really cool. I like the feature, but at the same rate, it's like, uh, but like, it, isn't it like when you die, you're really supposed to die and that's it? I don't know. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I definitely think it's really cool though. I definitely like the idea of that. It's something, it's, it's different. It's a change, you know? Um, so next one here, um, you can get the green pulse blasting as well, and you can earn your way back to life, I'm guessing, with that as well. So it's some green pulse blast lethal weapon, something like that. I'm not so sure exactly what that is, but it's there. Pack punch system exists, obviously. It's there. It's the pack punch. You can pack punch your weapons. Weapon kits are returning, so just like Black Ops 3, you can go before your game. You can add up to six attachments on your weapon. So when you buy your weapon off the wall or from the box or whatnot, you have those attachments, and they transfer from multiplayer. So I'm pretty sure this is actually pretty interesting. Within um, Black Ops 3 Zombies, you have to level up specifically within Zombies, but in this game, if you level up, let's say, your Ripper within multiplayer, multiplayer that same ripper will have all those attachments within zombies so that's obviously pretty cool um we have round based game mode so again it will be the same sort of round based survival game mode that we've been seeing for a while now um you get challenge rounds by finding parts and adding it to a challenge bot and you get tickets for succeeding those challenges so basically he was talking about let's say a challenge from round four to round five is to get um like penetration kills just like Garai Kobe actually he said shoot two zombies with one bullet or something and you can get sort of um tickets for getting that and then you can use the tickets I'm guessing for new weapons, new perks, new gobble gums, and maybe secret easter egg items and whatnot. So that's obviously going to be pretty cool. And yeah, you have um, something really interesting here. It talks about the map layout, and it says more forgiving, more bigger areas. So it looks like you have a lot more room to actually train and move around instead of like these tight, tight areas. I'm guessing there will be some tight locations, but it's not going to be like these really, really tight areas. You're going to have a lot of room to just, you know, just not really get hit by, well, not really get hit by zombies, but a lot of room to actually train and move around, do that stuff. So I'm not so sure. It just seems like it's like a bigger map with bigger spaces. I mean, it's obviously really cool, but I do sometimes like the, you know, tight corridors as well it's like the fun of zombies being in those tight corridors and then running out and then getting back in like i don't know man it's just sometimes pretty cool like that so we'll see how it works out you have tons of small easter eggs tons of big ones as well so again confirming that they're going to be a lot of easter eggs easter eggs will be solvable all easter eggs will be solvable i don't know why they wouldn't be but i guess you know all easter eggs will be solvable so that's gonna be pretty cool um wonder weapons are called weapons from the future so this is pretty weird they're weapons from the future and they can be bought with tickets and possibly the wheel as well because if we saw within the wheel you actually got some sort of like death machine laser weapon but there are also other wonder weapons that you can only buy with tickets so i'm guessing the other wonder weapons are like that weapon that you shoot a zombie and it explodes into the air and or the weapon that you shoot a zombie and the zombie starts dancing those probably are will be the weapons that you actually get from the tickets and obviously the weapon from the mystery box or the mystery wheel or whatever um there there's one wonder weapon where you actually have this laser parallel looking thing that we saw in the trailer and that will be one maybe from the tickets and from the mystery box as well so that's gonna be pretty cool um there's also a glowing beacon for the one of uh, the mystery wheel just like the mystery box from you know call of Duty zombies makes sense and wall buys are on the ground or laying around just like physical guns like extinction so that's actually a pretty good cool. i actually like that feature where the weapons are just like sitting on the side of a wall like they normally would be in a zombie apocalypse you can just pick it up and get it and use it as a, a, a buildable or a, not a buildable a wall buy so instead of like the chalk wall buy um, 
um, you would have just random weapons sitting around all over the place. I think that's pretty cool. It makes it a bit more realistic. Even though this is like the most non-realistic game mode ever, it makes it pretty cool. It's a pretty cool feature. And that's basically that with Infinite War for Zombies. A lot of the really interesting features that we obviously haven't really talked about before, we haven't really seen before. And um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. It definitely has a lot of different mixes of stuff we've never really seen before. Stuff from Shrek Zombies. Not a lot from Exo Zombies. A bit from Extinction, um, to some extent, really. I think they're really adding a lot of actually like new stuff before, you know, like definitely like um, the the pitching door thing is something they've never done before. Really, really cool. A lot of the different arcade things when you die is something they've never done. The bank system is similar to Black Ops 2, but it's a bit different. It's pretty different. Um, and a lot of just really random stuff. So again, it's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays out. Hopefully, man, this is a part of beta. If this is a part of the beta, that'd be so sick. Probably it won't be. Probably just be a multiplayer beta, but... Oh, come on, man. Zombies beta. Come on, please. Uh, I don't know, man. We were wishing for it last year. It's not going to happen, but you never know. That'd be cool. And um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.